Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our ISTQB AI tester certification. We are in chapter two talking about the quality characteristics for AI based systems. And uh, as a part of today's tutorial, we'll be jumping onto the next set of topics where we are covering 2.5 ethics and 2.6, which includes side effects and reward hacking for AI based systems. Well, to talk about ethics, of course, as the term generally means, ethic is all about the common behavior <clears throat> that what exactly does the system must do in order to give people the right responses and the kind of like a mannered behavior, the culture, what human beings have towards other people, exactly the same way we are expecting an AI-based system also to behave in the same manner to the people by respecting their belief systems and also kind of like meeting their expectation. So there are many other things which we really need to consider when it comes to geographical distributions of the AI-based systems. And in this particular topic, we are just referring exactly to the same. So ethic in the Cambridge Dictionary is defined as a system of accepted beliefs that control behavior, especially such system based on morals of AI systems with enhanced capability or having a largely positive effect on people's lives, as these systems have become more widespread, concerned have been raised as to whether they are used in an ethical manner or not. Now, for an example, if you're just talking about devices like Alexa, Google, Siri, they are something which people kind of like believe when they ask the questions to them that, hey, Alexa, what exactly I should do here or hey Alexa do this for me the Alexa is trying to understand and respond to a very polite manner and kind of like according to the type of country the suggestions can be given because the culture of uh, a particular country a particular city particular state could vary from each other and thus it might be very important for AI based systems to behave accordingly for example one of the factor could be the language which we are talking about now, I, I, it does not make any sense if I release something kind of like within a country like India where we're talking about German or kind of like devices and products which are sold in Germany but has no possibility of getting delivered in India, right? So we don't promote any such things. We do not respond to such things which do not happen in India at all, right? So that's what it is being referred with in terms of ethic. Now, what is considered ethical can change over a period of time. It, it does happen over a period of decade, uh, the different countries, different people can start adopting cultures from another country or another culture, and that could be transformed over a period of time. So ethics can look forward to have a change over a period of time and can also change among localities and cultures too. Care must be taken that the deployment of the AI-based systems from one location to another considers differences in stakeholder values. If in case you're trying to release an international system of AI-based systems, then of course you must look forward to understand and respect the cultures between the countries, cities and different locations and their stakeholder values. Now national and international policies on the ethics of the AI can be found in many countries and regions. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development issued its principle for AI, the first international standard agreed by governments for the responsible development of AI. These principles were adopted by 42 countries when they were issued and are also backed by the European Commission. They include practical policy recommendation as well as value-based principles for the responsible st stewardship of trustworthy AI. That's what we call it as the ethic, which is the trustworthy thing that if I'm asking something to this AI based systems and the response given by the AI system can be believed, right? Because that totally goes in line with your, uh, the way the technology works, the way the solution works in your country and your geography. Now, these are summarized, like that is the principles which we are talking about can be summarized as these uh, five points here. One, AI should but benefit people and the planet by driving inclusive growth, sustainable development, and well-being. AI systems should respect the rule of law, human rights, democratic values, and diversity, and should include appropriate safeguards to ensure a fair society. There should be 
transparency around AI to ensure that the people understand outcome and can challenge them. AI system must function in a robust, secure and safe way throughout their life cycles and risk should be continually assessed. Organizations and individuals developing, deploying or operating AI systems should be held accountable. So put together, we are also trying to add through these principles that an AI based system should not be created in a way that it could kind of like impact people emotions or could be a kind of like dangerous device for people or could be misguiding and misleading them. So that could be considered as, as an unethical AI based system and that should be discarded or may not be approved according to the principles and the products can be discarded immediately. So point here is that any AI based system which is currently being built should follow all these principles which were addressed in this particular agenda that it should meet and follow all the ethical standards and at the same time respect people and guide them well so that it can be believed at any point of time. On the other hand, we do have another two topics to talk about, which is of course the side effect and reward hacking. Now, side effect first, which is slightly different from the bias. In our previous topic, we covered what is bias. Bias was the deviation from the expectations and we kind of related that word of AI-based system to defect in our general world of testing. But here, the side effect is slightly different from the bias. Let's see what exactly does it mean. First of all, the side effect and the reward hacking can result in AI-based systems generating unexpected and even harmful results when the system attempts to meet, it, meet its goal. So it's more of like there are some agenda, there are some objectives for the AI-based systems to meet. And to, in order to meet those goals, the AI systems can produce results which might not be relevant, which might sometime be unexpected at all and uh, could be dangerous as well for the humankind. Now, negative side effects can result when the designer of an AI-based system specifies a goal that focuses on accomplishing some specific task in the environment but ignores any other aspects of the uh, environment and thus implicitly expresses indifference over environment variable that might actually be harmful to the change. So a very, very simple example has been given to you and you can relate this example to many other examples which might be happening around you or you would have experienced with other AI based systems. So the example what we have given here is, for example, if you're talking about a self driven car, right, with a goal of traveling to its destination in as fuel efficient and safe manner as possible. That means we're just trying to make sure that uh, the drive when the autonomous car or self-driven cars are driving you to certain destinations, the program has been written in such a way that it drives you safe. That means on a moderate speed, kind of like 40 to 60 on a range and then fuel efficient, which is economy speed, right? It, it will not be driving you lower than 30 to 40 uh, kilometers per hour and uh, will not be driving beyond 80 plus, uh, 80 kilometers per hour. So it will be between 40 to 80, moderately driving you to reach your destination. So that's the goal which is defined for this AI system. But this device or this particular AI system can achieve the goal, but with the side effect of passenger becoming extremely annoyed at the excessive time taken, right? Because of course, when you're driving self yourself, then you may drive and control the vehicle like even at 100, 120, and then gradually decrease and increase the speeds according to your need and reach the destination as and when you want it. But here, an autonomous driven car would only be meeting a particular goal based on the system defined that, hey, it's more about driving the person safe and at the same time being fuel efficient. So it might be taking as long as possible. So in that context, what happens that the side effect here observed is the people are unhappy with the car when they are driving it in autonomous mode. Now, reward hacking is another thing which can result from an AI-based system achieving a specified goal by using a clever or easy solution that perverts the spirit of the designer's intent. Effectively, the goal can be gamed. Now, problem what we are talking about here is the AI system is trying to be intelligently behaving in order to judge 
the you know, user's behavior or instructions and accordingly change the plan. Now, this is also a kind of side effect, but here it's like rather than impacting the user or annoying the user, they are challenging the end users that yes, I'm kind of like cheating you, but very, very professionally. <laughs> so a widely used example of reward hacking is where an AI-based system is teaching itself to play an arcade computer game. It is presented with the goal of achieving the highest score and to do so, it simply hacks the data record that stores the highest score rather than playing the game to achieve it. So point is like, you know, the game, the AI based systems will kind of like, instead of playing the game with the user, when you play a game against the computer, the computer, you know, look forward to hack the highest score and just change the values there and say that, hey, the highest score is still bigger. And I'm not sure how many times you would have experienced this yourself. If you go to the gaming arcades, the computer games, you would realize that things are sometimes different. No matter how hard you hit, it does not reach the highest score, okay? Or second could be the gambling industry, which is very, very smart. And as it understands that how exactly are you playing and kind of like your uh, roulettes and all those things can be tricked around. So there are, we thought that it's just a table with a roulette on top of it, but Trust me or not, we do a lot of training for organizations where they build softwares for these entire gambling industry. So yes, there is an AI behind the screen which is controlling all these behaviors and kind of hacking and diverting the results in a way that looks quite natural, but certainly being trained with to turn around the game and make you lose everything. So put together, that's what is called as reward hacking, kind of like you were winning, but it's just like taking away from you, snatching away from you. Anyways, put together, this is what we wanted to discuss today in our tutorial. I hope you had a wonderful understanding of what exactly uh, the side effects, reward hacking, and ethics of an AI-based system are. And uh, we look forward to add more value from upcoming topics, so stay tuned for that. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.